Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. It's been a while since I've been back. Start off with a little piece I wrote. My wife is my connecting puzzle piece. She understands my enigma. She solves my mystery. She clears up my conundrum. She decodes my riddles. She dismantles my dilemmas. She's practically a ninja. <laughs> She's my mate, my helpmate, and my soulmate. Plus, she prevents my checkmate because she's my queen. Aww. She's my rudder, my anchor, and my navigator, and I can't imagine sailing through life without her. She's kind, and she's one of a kind. She's my co-defense, my counsel, my confidant. She's cool with being my warmth. She's my seasonable, my spring and my step, also, she's my honey, my sugar, and my wildly organic. <laughs> she's easygoing, humble, peaceful, and deeply rooted fuzzy bunny. Aww. It's a privilege to know her and be with her. <laughs> I will claim her as my own and hold her in the highest regard. She's elegant, adept, skilled, gifted, clever, resourceful, and astute. Pretty much the opposite of me. <laughs> Sherry, happy 10th, 10th year anniversary. <laughs> you are the love of my life, and I can't imagine life without you. The heart feels, thank you, <laughs> I appreciate. Um, now, since it's been over a year since I've been done mustache stand-up comedy, and my mustache is still here, we're about to go on a ride. I view facial hair, I view facial hair as a form of constantly changing art. I mean, think about this. Every minute you live without facial hair is 60 seconds off your manliness. <laughs> Amen, brother. That's right, I'm preaching the good word tonight. Some of you guys probably don't realize how difficult it is having a mustache this big. Not even Dora can explore it. <laughs> it's so big when I go to a buffet, they're like, hey, one at a time. <laughs> Save some food for the rest of us, freak. I know, I know. You can't go swimming. It absorbs all the water. So much for the Great Lakes. Kids are like, your mustache drank all the fun. Sometimes it sticks up my nose. Makes me look like a maniac or a cocaine addict. <laughs> I don't do cocaine, but I am, I am a little bit of a maniac. Some of you are probably saying at this point in the show, hey, mustache man, we don't have a big mustache to relate to. This is just a constant reminder, folks, to have a big stash of awesomeness in your life. It doesn't have to be physical. I'm just saying, you got to differentiate, I can't say that word. You got to make yourself different from the rest of the sheeple. <laughs> Let your freak flag fly high. In Australia, they do this thing. They say, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Few of you know it. It's Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. I've created my own. To help you guys when you're having a rough day and you think, you know what, the world sucks. Here's what you do. You say, crazy, 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 freak, freak, freak. Let's try it. Here we go. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Freak, freak, freak. All right. You guys are on board. That is awesome. My mustache, it doesn't merge with nature well. I had to warn the sun not to look directly into my mustache. Death had a near mustache experience. <laughs> Facial hair is so potent, 
Alcohol goes to Mustache Anonymous. Sorry, that's Mustacheaholics Anonymous. It's really difficult to say. My doctor almost got his ass kicked for suggesting mustache reduction. Whoa. Not cool. I, I know. Not cool. Had to get a new doctor. She's out. Yeah. Joke. <laughs> total, total joke. Fear of speaking in public is called glossophobia. Fear of my mustache is called logic. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I like that one. You would think that my cat would like my mustache. She has whiskers. I have whiskers. But it just makes her mad. I think, I think my whiskers, she's met my cat. <laughs> Seriously, she came over and my, my wife and I were there and, and I was talking to my cat and my cat talked back and she goes, oh my gosh, your cat, your cat talks back to you. I'm like, yeah, I'm not just a crazy cat person and she actually talks back. She goes, meow, meow. It's weird, but it's pretty sweet too. Um, my cat, I don't think she likes the mustache because every time she goes for one of those business interviews, she has to use a lint brush to get mustache <laughs> off of her business suit. <laughs> that is definitely one of the weirdest jokes I have ever written. I didn't get one of those high-powered food services jobs because they had a bullshit, no facial hair policy. Talk about discrimination. It's another case of a white man oppressing the black mustache. You guys laugh, let it out, come on, man. <laughs> What's that? That's a groan? You got a groan. That's I got a groan? Yeah. That's seriously, that's, that's one of my favorite jokes. I don't care about you guys anymore. <laughs> that's a joke I like the most. That's, that's okay. One time, in Mexico, a guy said, Mr. Whiskers. How did he know my name was Mr. Whiskers? <laughs> Mr. Whiskers, try the tequila. I can't let my mustache drink. <laughs> He's a jerk when he drinks. Mm. He said to someone, don't worry, you'll be safe when the zombies come. Oh my. That last joke is a no-brainer. A topper. It's so bad. I look over at my fellow comedian. I shouldn't say fellow. I'm not that good. <laughs> She's an actual comedian. That's, that's awesome. Um, I have one more story for you. A female TSA agent said to me, you have a nice beard. And I said, you have a nice pat down. And she said, well, sir, I don't actually pat down men. And I said, well, I don't actually have a beard. And of course, this got me extra screening. Here's a travel tip for you guys, a travel tip. If you guys, if you ever get the bonus search, request private screening. This is where they'll take you away from your fellow traveler and they will put you in a private room. There you will be met by two TSA agents. They will swab your hands to make sure you're not smuggling any freedom. Now remember, be nice to these TSA agents because violating people's civil rights is a thankless job. <laughs> it's, like, it's like going in like rounds with the laughter. I, I appreciate that. Um, then they will, they, will, they will pat you down on your penis. I know not all of you have penises. It's okay, just for the... Just imagine you do for this particular joke. <laughs> they will pat you down, but it's okay because it's done with the back of their hand. <laughs> imagine if people did that on dates. No, I'm gonna touch your breast, but it doesn't count because it's with the back of my hand. <laughs> so my challenge to you is why are we letting government employees do this to us if it's not okay to do it to other people? 
Sorry, I got all somber in here for a second. That was <laughs> brought the mood down. But here's the thing. Once they've violated your civil rights, taken away your dignity, they will eventually say to you, you're free to go. This is where the fun starts. <laughs> Once you walk out of the private room, you declare in a loud voice, you guys give the best tag team blowjob ever. <laughs> Other passengers are like, I didn't get a blowjob. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Free, free, free. All right, that is the uh, comedy portion. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a little bit of variety for you. Thank you guys very much. How much time do I have, Russ? Why are you asking me? <laughs> I'm just, gonna tr I'm just gonna try this thing. It's something I've been working on. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I'm totally sorry, yeah, I'll take them back. <laughs> What is? <laughs> yeah. They throw like drums. Right That's okay. All right. She just she just snorted right there. That's. She did again. Um. I really have to say that I'm very happy with Texas so far. I've been I've been living here for a year and a half, and my wife and I just bought a tiny home for my huge mustache. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas other than our house. <laughs> my wife wanted uh, a tiny home to rein in my ego slash mustache slash same thing. <laughs> Show you guys a little bit of what I've learned since I moved to Texas. I spin around it while it spins around me. This opens up a wormhole. If you guys, <laughs> this creates a time machine. If you guys jump in there, you can see the future where Ted Cruz is not president. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking at this point, how do we get roped into this? <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That trick's actually pretty easy. You just have to jump through a couple hoops. <laughs> I'm high strung. <laughs> this is the most difficult trick. Coming out. <laughs> Not like that. We all struggle with that. <laughs> it's, don't, don't struggle with it, brother. Let it out, man. <laughs> I'm totally equal rights here. Rister? I don't know what that means, man, but <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Roots. Thank you guys so much.